Hi folks, Dr. Ed Beyer here. Today we're going to talk about a very common form of vertigo that is not looked for by most doctors, okay? Most patients that I see with vertigo or balance disorders um, or you know, abnormal uh, motion and, and motion feeling that's going on, uh, they go to their doctor and usually what's going to happen is they're going to prescribe meclizine, which is really an anti-nausea drug, okay? Vertigo, what vertigo is, folks, is what you, where your brain thinks you're at and where your body and, and, and head are really at are, are two different places, okay? There's a disconnection between where you're at and where your brain thinks you're at, okay? Now, the brain and the cerebellum, which is another part of your brain, they perceive where we're at by receiving information from our body. And the main sources of information that tell our brain and cerebellum where we're at and where we're moving comes from our vision, our eyes. Another source is our inner ear. We talked about this in another video. In our inner ear, we got these little labyrinthine canals that have fluid in them and specialized hair cells that when we move, that fluid moves, it triggers the hair cells and that sends information into the brain to allow the brain and the cerebellum in our brain to know which way we're moving. Another area that the brain receives information from is from our joints and our neck and all our body and our muscles. This is a major input into the brain that tells us where we're at, okay? So now, what, what's a common cause of abnormal input into the brain is when the joints or the bones in our neck are out of alignment. This can come simply from sleeping wrong, this can come from poor posture at a computer, this could come from trauma, like a car accident. I've seen a lot of vertigo cases where the vertigo came on years after a whiplash. So that's, that's really common. Or people that are at the computer a lot. Or people who play sports or have had concussions and things like that. And we x-ray them and they have these misalignments called subluxations in the cervical spine, the neck. And now those joints are sending aberrant or abnormal input into the brain. And where the brain thinks we're at and where we're really at are disconnected. And the, when the, in the inner ear, you can have uh, little crystals that'll, that will dislodge and send abnormal messages into the brain. That's called BPPV, or benign paroxysmal positional vertigo. We talked about that in another video. But this is a really common one. Sometimes patients have both, and so we have to look at that. With functional neurology, we can determine this or this, and then sometimes the problem is actually in the brain and the cerebellum. But the main thing I want you to understand is that vertigo is a complex disorder, cannot be solved with mechalizine. It's a neurological disorder. There's a disconnection between these receptors in our body and where our brain and cerebellum know where we're at. Once you correct that, we get fantastic results. I hope that helps. I'm Dr. Beyer. Have a great day.